around here they play rough you know and uh, I didn't really get used to that when I was first year I don't know too much about the girls because they have their own little thing going on they usually use the social networks and things like that they would um, bully me because I was a little chubby and they said you're a normal you you can't run as fast as me or you can't do good as me so you are in the I'm Richmond going. Drive. Yep. Nancy is in the front. Yep. I'm on the, side. the principal, Dr. Martin, and I had a long discussion and found out about an opportunity to take all 900 of our students and all our teachers to see the balloon movie, even the bus drivers. prepare our students for the five stories in the movie. It was an intense movie because no, nobody had a dry eye. Nobody. Uh, I already felt sympathy for everybody in that whole film. I always felt like there wasn't really people who interested me, but then when I saw that there was like actually people who had a lot, like a lot worse, and they um, they kind of had the same problems as me, it made me feel more connected, mm -hmm. and it made me feel like I do fit in somewhere because there are people having the same problems. I think you guys might be really good friends at some time. We were, and things aren't pulling. I have been bullied before. I felt that same feeling. Like Alex said, you know, I wanted to be the bully. I wanted to see how it felt. I wanted that power. I wanted that. I did do it for a little bit. I got in trouble, things like that. Some people don't really understand the damage they're causing to other students. They have really gone a mile in their shoes. two different periods debriefing the five stories in addition to making a pledge about what they would do to be upstanders. First they came to the trade unionists, and I wasn't a trade unionist, so I didn't say anything. And then they came for the Catholics, and I wasn't Catholic. And when they came for me, there was no one left to speak of. That's the most extreme case of bullying, isn't it? Right? The Holocaust. But how many people were bystanders and watched it? We took many parts of the curriculum from facing history and ourselves. So from the other kids, they got the message they were worthless. From the adults, they got the message that they were to blame. How can we send a different message? Many of our students have been invited, along with others from other schools, to meet Alex. Taylor Middle School is just part of a small piece of an initiative across our county schools. So we're really happy to be a part of this. We're really happy that all of you are a part of this, that San Mateo County stepped up and, and screened the film for 4,000 students in the last two weeks. Uh, and that, that brings us to 20,000 students in the Bay Area, which is really wonderful. So. I 
I wrote to Alex because he his story spoke out to me more than any others. Yeah, I pretty much came out here because I wanted to meet you. You are a big inspiration to a lot of people, especially if you're people who have been bullied before, such as me. Thinking me that way, we are the generation to end bullying. So we have a principal's pledge, the thing that you signed. Yeah. Where do we want to put it? I don't want to put it behind my door because I think it needs no, to be No, it needs to be in the public. Right. What no. do you think? I'm almost thinking the entry. As a principal, we know about the code of silence that our adolescents have. And the code of silence is um, that they don't want to say anything because they don't want to get in trouble, number one, or they don't want to get, you know, bashed by their friends. We have a lot of work to still to do, but it's important that a whole school understands this. Okay, raise your hand if you're going to be an upstander. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Character is what you do when no one is looking. That's really nice. They get, they're getting this. <laughs> Something that really lasted about the movie was when I saw the story of Alex, and it really struck my heart. So this is my anti-bully poster. I'm starting a bully club um, in this school. It helps kids stand up for what they're scared of. It makes them have a voice. Could we hang up a flyer? Chess club. The chess club, you just enter and you join. <laughs> Other people there will understand what you're feeling, so you're not alone if you've been bullied. So just remember that you're never alone if you get bullied, because other people experience it, OK? Yeah. Just seeing an open heart to other kids can make a really big difference. <laughs>